Welcome to Incheon, a city that Tyler and I have never visited while here in Korea, except when we come in through the airport. For the next almost exactly 24 hours, we'll be exploring as many of the top sites here in Incheon as we can. And our first stop of the day is Wolmido. So Wolmido is actually an island. There's a ton to do here, lots of cafes. There's a theme park, a huge actual park, and we're just gonna see what we can find. So our first stop first had to be some food because someone was getting hungry. Me. So we came to a Korean restaurant. We ordered some udong and bibimbap. We're gonna chow down before exploring. It was so good. And it's our first time trying king dumplings and they're pretty delicious. Just this little restaurant with red chairs. Stock on it. Now that we've filled up on some good eats, we're gonna go explore the boardwalk area and then head towards the carnival. And I'm not hangry anymore, so this will be fun. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Tyler, the cello player. I used to play cello, actually. Fun fact. We found them filming something. We're going to be in the next K-drama. Just wait. <laughs> I feel really weird right now. Why? I'm sure it's open. There's no one here. Yeah, it's a little strange. So after walking all the way to the end of the island, we decided to jump on the Wolmido Sea Train. It was only 8,000 won for adults, so apparently it goes around the entire island and we don't have to walk it. Just slides over. The train just goes from that track to this track. It was a little slow, but it was pretty cool to see the whole island. I was gonna say the same thing. I definitely recommend it if you're in the area so then you don't have to walk the island, but just have a little patience. So we ended up after the sea train coming to this really adorable cafe called Orange Cafe. They have these adorable macarons. They have great iced coffee. The view overlooking the water is incredible and there's literally no one here. So we have the entire place to ourselves. We're gonna see if we can win Damra, 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 or Debra, a stuffed animal. Come on, Tyler. You think I can do it? You can do it. Ooh, one. one. <laughs> Two. Go, Tyler, go. <laughs> I want Deborah a penguin. Look how cute. Oh. <laughs> Come to me, Come to me, Do you have fun? So cute. I had fun. I got penguin. You got penguin. There you go. We were thinking about going on some of the rides here. But it's already starting to get a little dark, and there's one more place we want to go still. So we're heading out to Chinatown. Welcome to Chinatown. This is one of the most popular spots to visit here in Incheon, and apparently they have some of the best jajangmyeon in all of Korea. So we're gonna try to go find some for dinner, explore for a bit, and you know us, we're just gonna see what we find. All right, so we found a shop with fortune cookies and it's at the top of the hill, so we're gonna grab two for after dinner. It's the Emperor Stairs here in Chinatown. It's for the tourists to get good luck, is what the sign says. So we gotta do it. We had to do it. Do you have good luck yet? Not yet. <laughs> Tyler. What? I've been there. Made to the top, then there's more. Now we have good luck. We got good luck. To now, find dinner? I was gonna say, now we can eat. <laughs> 
We actually saw a restaurant on our way to these emperor stairs. It had like a ton of awards. So I think we're gonna go there. It's getting pretty quiet now and we really wanna make it back to the hotel before dark. And yeah, that's it. We're gonna go have some yummy jajangmyeon. If you don't know what jajangmyeon is, it's like a black noodle. Well, it's a white noodle with black sauce and it usually has like veggies and some meat chopped into it. It's really, really good. My entire life I thought it was a Korean food, but apparently it's from Chinese immigrants who came to Korea and they only make it here. Like they don't serve it in the US. If you have a chance to try it, I would definitely recommend. We ended up ordering a variety of items. So of course we got jajangmyeon. We also got some uh, like broiled chili shrimp, which we would call chili sewu. They're also really good. I had them before Tyler got to Korea. And very lastly, we got some fried rice with shrimp for Tyler, just in case he doesn't like anything. Shrimp came out first. We don't know if it's spicy or not. It's hot though. Good. Not spicy. Mm -hmm. So this is jajangmyeon. It is not Tyler's favorite dish in Korea, so I'm gonna try it out and let you guys know if it's really one of the best restaurants here, or at least one of the better jajangmyeons that I've tried. It's actually pretty good. The sauce is really good here. Tyler might need to like that. <laughs> This morning, we ended up stopping at this pretty cute little donut shop that was right outside of our hotel. And even though I typically don't like donuts, their donuts were actually really good, which is saying a lot. Good coffee. Plus, since our hotel is right next to Central Park, we decided to come explore for the day. We're gonna hang out here. We're hoping to find some of the boat rides that they have and eventually make our way to the Hanok village. This one's very unique. Wow, we found a river with a fish in it. So the original plan was to go on a boat ride, but they're a little spendier than we thought. And it turns out this is one of the places I have on my Pinterest Korea bucket list, but it's at nighttime. So we decided we're just gonna come back sometime in the future do it at night, but it's a really fun option if you're looking for something to do. The boat rides, I think the cheapest one was 35,000 won. So instead, we're just gonna go to the Hanok village, maybe find some lunch, and then eventually make our way back to Seoul. I also just wanna mention they have like Cinderella boats. I don't know what to call them. What are these? Cinderella carriage boats? Yeah, they're boats, I think. Pretty cool. From what we've seen so far, I would definitely say this is the fanciest Hanok village I've ever been to. All of the buildings are super nice and the restaurants here are also very fancy looking. But if you want to explore, it's really beautiful. It is very beautiful, but definitely doesn't seem like you're in local Korea. <laughs> Turns out the other part of the Hanok village that we were going to go explore is just one giant hotel. So. What do you want to do now? Go find some lunch? Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, that is the end of our time in Incheon. We're heading back home to Seoul now. Even though we didn't exactly end on a great note, we still had a fantastic time exploring a new place, at least to us, in South Korea. We can't wait to see what we explore next, so make sure to subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next adventure. Bye.